He woke up with a hangover, a mustache, and a mullet. Hot damn, it was 1988. He slipped on his acid-washed Levi's and Sham's muscle shirt. The demon had done it. Now how did this work? Would time take on going forward? Or could he stay here forever? Live in 1988 forever? 1988, when he ruled. When he played football and when girls were nuts for him. When getting laid and partying was all there was. No bills. No worries. No wife and kid. And that's when he heard Liz's screaming. What the hell is this? She ran into the bedroom, her hair crimped and teased to the ceiling. Giant neon loop earrings dangled from her ears. She was dressed in a pink neon top and stretch pants just at florid, but the color of antifreeze. It's 1988, babe, and you get to sleep with the star, well, a member of the football team tonight. What the hell is going on? This can't be. Look, Buddy said, pointing to the living room. The flat screen that had been mounted to the wall was gone, replaced by a large, bulky TV. The streaming box was now a VCR. The pastel paint of the living room had been replaced by dark, faux wood paneling. How? My friend Sly, that's how. Sly? Yes, Sly Man Brain Twist. He's a demon. But don't freak out. He's not from hell. He's from heck. It's not as bad as hell. What? Buddy told her the story. How Sly gave him his dream. Liz almost passed out. Is this great or what? Great? This is a nightmare. Look at you. You're hot. Look at me. We get to do it all over again. The best years of our lives. Best years of your life. And what about everything we've done? It's all just erased. We get to go to high school again. Oh my God. Liz screamed and ran into the hall. Buddy followed her. Babe, stop freaking. This is going to be great. He caught up with Liz. They were both looking into Timmy's room. It was abandoned. It was as if his son had never been here. You son of a bitch. You selfish son of a bitch. Okay. Let's not overreact. Overreact? Are you fucking nuts? Timmy is dead. No, he's not dead. He, uh, just hasn't been born yet.